Bootcheck English for Teens. Welcome to Bootcheck English for Teens. I'm Alex Schroer. And I'm Camille Vantis. Let's get started by watching today's skit. Well, I think that does it. I'm going to get some fresh air. So this is New York. Sure is. Did you just move in? Oh, um, yeah. Hi, I'm Hillary. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm David. You've got to be joking. <laughs> Can you believe it? Hillary's neighbor is also named David. I guess it's a really common name. Or perhaps it's fate. Perhaps. Anyway, did you catch how Hillary expressed her disbelief at the fact that her new neighbor is also named David? Yeah, how could I miss it? She said, "You've got to be joking, right?" That's right. "You've got to be joking" is a phrase that is used to express surprise or disbelief. An alternate phrase using the same structure is "You've got to be kidding." You can use these phrases in a variety of situations. For example, if you step off the plane onto a tropical island ready to enjoy the beautiful beach, But it starts pouring rain. You might say, "You've got to be joking." Or if you studied really hard for an exam, but when you see your score, it's a few dozen points lower than you expected. You've got to be kidding! Oh, by the way, Camille, I heard that you weren't able to make it in time to purchase the tickets for your、uh, favorite singer's concert. Yeah, I rushed to the ticket office, but I was too late. Well, my friend had an extra ticket, and I know how much you like that singer, so I asked her for it. Really? Wow, Alex! Thanks so much. She said no. You've got to be joking. Our motion point for today is the pronunciation of "nice to meet you." Specifically, we'll be going over why the "meet you" pronunciation sounds like "me too." When a word ends with the sounds t or d and is followed by the word u, they often combine to create a different sound. When a word ends with a t and is followed by the word u, a ch sound is produced. Like in today's example, repeat after me. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. When a word ends with a d sound and is followed by a u, a j sound is produced. Repeat after me. Did you meet him? Did you meet him? By the way, Alex, could you introduce me to your friend Pedro? Why would you want me to do that? Did you not hear the news? He was just elected to be on the national baseball team. I need you to introduce me so I can get his autograph. I'll see what I can do. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out, and don't forget to have fun. See you next week. Bootcheck English for teens.